And that breaking news, a massive and hours long search for a 10 year old Jackson boy is over tonight after he was found safe by searchers. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Jeannie Blail. Let's get straight to Haley Harrison with this good news tonight. The late breaking details, Haley. Yeah, Jeannie, it is a real relief tonight after 10 year old Kylan or Chase Viren was found safe and sound. It was a massive search and a huge team effort between JSO and JFRD that started here around 1230 at his home on Conrad Drive. He was last seen here taking out the trash. Now at about just a half an hour ago, just about after Chase's mother, Deborah Viren tells me search crews found him at the Monaco Arms apartment complex, which is less than a half mile down the street from their home and just around the corner from where dozens of law enforcement officers set up its command center. Now Chase's mother says he has been diagnosed with ADHD and OCD and does sometimes act on impulse as she believes he likely did today. Deborah says law enforcement Baker acted her son, so she isn't sure when they will be reunited. However, she is just so relieved. Chase is OK. So happy. It's unbelievable. I'm just so relieved right now that they found him and he's safe. And maybe he'll get the help that he need now. I am just feeling really, really blessed that these officers came out. They went door to door door to door. I'm watching them because I'm riding. They got flashlights. They got the dogs. They got the helicopters and they found him. She also says she's so grateful for the neighbors in North Jacksonville community that reached out to her and kept an eye out for her son. And Deborah Viren just says that she's looking forward to hug to hugging and kissing her son once again. Live on the north side, I'm Haley Harrison. First Coast News on your side. We are all so glad that he was found safe. Haley